Welcome to my lecture online. To get a better understanding of the coefficient of performance, let's talk about the heat pump that heats a house. So let's say that the house requires a certain amount of heat per hour to keep it at a certain temperature. And let's say that the house loses 75,000 BTUs per hour, so we have to infuse 75,000 BTUs of heat into the home. Where does the heat come from? Well, we get the heat from the outside where it's cold, but by doing work, we add additional heat to that so that the heat going into the house is greater than what is contained within the outside, of course, because we don't want to pump cold air into the inside of the house. So we want to minimize the amount of work required to put as much heat as we possibly can um, into the house. So yeah, essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to maximize this Put as much heat as we possibly can into the home. I guess that's a better way of looking at it, like this, and by minimizing the amount of work required to do so. So we do need to convert a few things. 75,000 BTUs per hour is 1,055 joules per BTU times an hour being 3,600 seconds. So essentially, we need almost 22,000 joules of energy per second to keep the home at a constant temperature. Also, keep in mind that a kilowatt hour is 1,000 joules per second that's a kilowatt, times 3,600 seconds for 3.6 million joules worth of energy. And today, a kilowatt hour costs about 50 cents. The last time I looked at my electric bill, it was, some the, it was somewhere between 30 and 70 cents per kilowatt hour, depending upon what time of day that, I, that we use that electricity. So, the heat required, we take this equation here, and the heat required is going to be the work we put into it times the coefficient of performance of the pump, and let's say it's 3.5. Now that depends, of course, on how cold the air is outside. If the air outside is really, really, really cold, then of course your coefficient of performance drops. If the air outside is not as cold, then the coefficient of performance goes up. So it will depend upon how cold the air is outside, but if the air is very cold, that, that coefficient of performance drops and it costs more money to keep your house warm. So, the work required is Q hot divided by K. So Q hot is the heat we need and K is the coefficient of performance. So we need this much per second and the coefficient of performance is 3.5. And then we have to multiply them, of course, times 3,600 seconds per hour because we want to know how much heat we need per hour. And uh, that ends up being 79 million, oh, and I have to divide this by don't forget, divide this by 3.5, to have, divide by 3.5. So we end up with needing 6.28 kilowatt hours per hour to keep the house warm. At a cost of 50 cents per kilowatt hour, that is $3.14 per hour, and there's 24 hours in a day, so it would cost you $75 per day to keep your house warm, which is pretty expensive. Now, obviously, we're drawing a lot of heat, and we're doing for 24 hours, which may not be the, the case if you're not going to be home, you don't want to have the heat on. But if you were to keep it going for 24 hours, it gets quite expensive. And at least that way you know how heat pumps work and how the coefficient of performance has a huge impact in how much money you'll pay for that heat.